How to fix the Google Pixel boot loop issue? Boot loop issues can be frustrating, especially when they occur in your Google Pixel device. If you find yourself stuck in the boot loop, don't panic. There are steps you can take to resolve the problem. In this guide, we will walk you through the process of using ADB and Fastboot utilities to fix the boot loop issues on your Google Pixel. The boot loop can uh, appear in X without uh, any expectation and uh, it ended up uh, in this way. It will uh, turn on and off uh, showing the Google logo without nothing that we can do. Even we press the, key, the button, nothing happened on the phone. But now let's start our tutorial. First of all, we need to go to the official Android developer SDK platform tool and download the SDK platform tool for our platform. Windows, Macintosh and Linux are supported and uh, as you can see this tool is well maintained and up to date. Uh, almost every month there is a new uh, version of the tool. We need to accept the agreement and we can download uh, the tool for our related platform. In my case I'm on uh, Apple Macintosh but I think the process will be the same for all the major platform. It's simple one archive to download and install on our terminal system. And by the end of the installation we gone we will be able to use some uh, common line tool like ADB and Fastboot. I successfully downloaded the tool on my system. They come out on a zip archive that decompress in a platform tool directory with all the tools that I need. Now it's recommended that we need to move all this tool in a specific directory like for Windows is a C, a ADB and for Linux and Mac is ADB directory into your home directory. Welcome to my terminal. As you can see, I'm inside the platform tool directory with all the tools that I mentioned before. There are some executable. The most well known is a fast boot that uh, is able to communicate with a bootloader of our Android device. Uh, as you can see, fast boot devices is going to list the available device. So first of all, we need to connect to the bootloader of our device. We can keep this pressing power button and down and we are going to enter in this fast boot mode. As you can see, if I'm pressing volume down, it will change the text and uh, nearby the power button, like recovery mode and uh, restart bootloader, start uh, the device and power off. This is the official bootloader of the Android device and in this mode we can uh, connect a cable and communicate with to the computer. Okay, let me connect the USB-C cable to my device from one hand and the other hand to my Apple Macintosh and uh, let me redo the same process on the command line so fast boot devices and you can see this serial number is exactly the serial number on my Google Pixel. Cool! This means that uh, my computer and the device are able to communicate successfully. For a Windows device you just need to install some drivers and you ended up in the same exact condition. But now we need to uh, refresh the firmware, so back on the website. There are two available firmware options. The most famous is OTA images that is just the update package to be executed by our device. This is a dedicated page for all the Pixel phone available and as you can see we need to accept the term of service and on the right part of the page we gonna see all the available uh, version of uh, devices so we just need to grab our device and using the ADB command line utility we can sideload the OTA file to our device. This is just a zip file that we need to load in our device. In my case I'm having 
a pixel free a and here's the link of all available uh, software for my device the newest pixel 8 is the, is the same the, here you can find all the available uh, software release uh, and as well also pixel fold uh, and that's it we just need to download on link button the available android version in my case i have a pixel 3a so let me go back to this device and select the latest version of this software in my case september 2022 we just need to wait for downloading the file this is a one gigabyte and and alpha so it depends by the speed connection OTA update is actually the fastest way to achieve this result. It's available also with factory images for our device, but this is a little bit more complex because we need to flash actually different part of the operating system, the boot partition, the system partition, this kind of stuff. But there is a dedicated website for this as well, and also the Android flash tool that is going to guide you how to flash your device but for this you need an unlocked bootloader and it might be a little bit more complex in the same way the website is listing all the available version for your device so you just need to download the software and flash it to the destination device but now let's proceed with the OTA in order to actually load the file we need to move our device to the recovery mode so let me press the volume down till I see recovery mode on the power button and let me hit the power button cool okay now the device will reboot and enter recovery mode no command is will be displayed on the screen but this is actually a good result because uh, we didn't provide any command to the device so let's press power and uh, hold power and press volume up and this uh, uh, message will appear on the screen this is officially android recovery and as you can see it display also the current software loaded on the device we can scroll up and down using the volume key and select the option with a power button. In my case, uh, uh, interface boot is the uh, bootloader and I would like to highlight the apply update via ADB. Selecting this option will allow our pixel to receive a update file via ADB. As you can see, uh, it also show on the screen the exact command that we need to type on the terminal adb sideload file name cool let's get back to our terminal and uh, actually type this command adb sideload and the file name the file name will be the ota image that i just downloaded from a website cool uh, the progress, there is a progress bar on the terminal that shows you the uh, loading progress and during this process uh, it, the device is going to show you that uh, the update is going to be executed. These, there are actually two steps, one to transfer the file and one for verifying the successful transferring on the device. As you can see, this might take a while because it is a very slow process to actually transfer in this file uh, to the device. By the end of this process, the update is going to be loaded on the device from our computer and the device will be able to execute and uh, hopefully to reboot successfully. So, as you can see, I'm already reaching out 80% of the process. Uh, this is just uh, a simple wait, so I hope you can grab a very nice coffee and wait for it. I'm already reaching out nearly the complexion of this process and uh, it executes step 202 and uh, we get a status 0. This is, that is a successful status on the device. 
And uh, now we are ready to reboot the device. We got a success also in our terminal and we are starting the first uh, actually boot up of a new device. As you can see, the boot loop now is stopped and is started with a welcome to your new pixel. I decided to wipe all the data on my device. So this is the first installation. So the first uh, welcome screen. Now your pixel is ready to go and we can use uh, like a fresh new device. You can connect to mobile network or your Wi-Fi or whatever makes comfortable to you. Cool, we saved our device. Yay, what a successful day.